And we have, if you're a fan of the hit BBC series Merlin, uh, you've got young Merlin and young, young Prince Arthur, Arthur mm. on the show. Two good-looking young men. The room's going to be just bursting with testosterone and muscular passion, ladies. So, uh, Seven. And you know what? Here's the fair, scary thing. Colin Morgan and Bradley James are with us. They're yep. both in the new hit BBC. Well, it's a hit already. It's coming back um, Saturday night. The uh, hit show Merlin. Colin was born. Colin, you were born in 83, you said? Is that right? Oh, sorry, Colin was born in 86. I was born in 86. Bradley was born in 83. Yeah. So you were six. You No, there was six years before you were born yeah. and nine years before you were born that was reported. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, I, I, I haven't seen any of the new series of Merlin yet, but I've been seeing the trailers. Obviously, they've been uh, showing. Uh, it's part of the Saturday Night London from BBC. That and Strictly Come Dancing are both back. It looks to me like they've... I don't know whether they spend more money or they've got different people doing it, but it looks like the special effects are really going to be... Should we, we, should we say, a little more competent this time around? Well, we've only seen the first episode, but that was enough to kind of, you know, make us sort of, you know, draw back in our chairs. It looks go, great. Wow. It looks great. It, lo it looks kind of like Lord of the Rings standard. It looks really good. The, the, the dragon I saw in the trailer looks fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's one of the things about it, and the, the series, it feels very filmic. You know, we were watching it and literally thinking, oh, it feels like we're watching the film here. We did see it on, on the big cinema screen at the BFA. Well, that's why we feel like so a that's film. that's probably why. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> uh... you're, you're at a cinema. <laughs> yeah, yeah but... <laughs> <laughs> but if you factor that out, yeah. I'm sure on TV even, it would have more of the scope and scale and sweep of a movie. I think so, yeah. I think people will be, you know, anyone who's seen the last series will, will be loving it, and anyone who hasn't seen it, I think, will be very pleasantly surprised. Uh, how many are there in this series, and how many have you finished filming so far? We, uh, there's 13, it's the same as last year, but we're, we're filming the last two, and pretty much all the episodes we're still filming because there's people coming up with scenes oh you've got to do this scene from ep 2 uh, yeah. so they go back yeah. and stuff they've missed or they've forgotten the yeah. Sweep them yeah. okay uh, and uh, where do you film it I think you film it in, in several different locations don't you yeah a mixture we film the studio stuff in Cardiff and then we go to this amazing shadow in, in France wow um, which are your favourite uh, locations to film the uh, studio in Cardiff or the uh, <laughs> shadow in France <sighs> you film in do you film in not in Wales you film in Scotland as well there's a castle or is no, that all in France? You've been completely misled there, but we've got, we must have filmed in that many castles in the in sort of mm. western region of Britain. Yeah, We're yeah. in <laughs> Gloucestershire, Wales, anywhere there's a castle, yeah. and you get a new character with a castle, we <laughs> turn up yeah. and we hang out at his castle for an So episode. basically, if you have or live near a castle, you will be seeing these young men at some stage <laughs> in the near future. Yeah, very hard if we haven't already been there. Uh, yeah. But it's quite exciting the way that this is tapping into this part of British history and British mythic folklore as well, and the fact that we have these great castles and we have this, uh, the, this mythology that surrounds it. Some of it based in historical facts as well. Have you delved into that? Have you, as part of your kind of study for the characters or just as being part of the, the show, have you looked into the kind of the law of King Arthur and the legend of Merlin and so on? Well, Colin's a big reader. You've had a fair, fair whack yeah. of material. Yeah, I've, I've, I've covered kind of all the sort of classic Arthurian legends and then just more or less read everything with Merlin in the title. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> more or less. So you, you just studied up, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have a cat called Merlin. You probably read up about him as well while you were doing <laughs> yeah, that. I did, yeah. Um, uh, but, but, it's a, but it's an exciting thing. And how are, you, how are the fans reacting? Because I know you've got, it's a very broad scope that the audience appeals to. You know, you have a lot of little kids love it. I know that as well. But you get the, the fantasy people as well. Are, are, the ladies, uh, are the ladies coming knocking already? Bradley, <laughs> um, I do you know what this? I, I get asked this a lot, as though it's, 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 it's a natural, mm. you know, succession to what happens when you do a show. I've not noticed any any change no, in change, any no. situation, no change, uh, no much change. to my, you know, disappointment. You're but, um, Are you with someone at the moment? Then, or you? you got no. Um, so you're a single man. I'm a single man. How can young Arthur be single? Why, right, strapping, okay, blonde, yeah. broad of shoulder, narrow of waist. <laughs> <laughs> Keen as mustard. <laughs> On every Saturday night, no one's knocking. Talk to me for ten minutes and you'll understand why. Is that what it is? You're dull. <laughs> Is that what it is? The nail on the head. Yeah, yeah. It's like so many pretty women I've met over the years, you know. Uh, Colin, you getting any uh, interesting changes in your life in that one? Um, well, it's 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 weird when you do when you do a show like this and it and it and it, and it kind of it kind of hits the the mainstream. You uh, you you get attention in all forms, and yeah. um, and it's getting used to that. I think is is. Um, and when you say in all forms, what are, what are you talking about here specifically? I'll keep a lot of that under wraps. Oh, I say, okay. yeah. Let's put a record on. I'll grill Bradley. If it's safe for family years, I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> We've got Colin and Bradley, two good-looking young men in the prime of life. Me, deceptively youthful-looking. <laughs> Quite amazing how you... It's true, though, guys, isn't it? Didn't you not think that when you came in? Yeah, it was a lot yeah, of truth. Yeah, of course. Then. <laughs> uh, Merlin is back on BBC Saturday nights. What time's it on? 6.40, I believe. It's 6.40. Yeah. Yeah. We've got Strictly Come Dancing. Guys, you're in the first flush of crew. You don't need to consider this kind of thing. But in a few years' time, would you like to go on a show like the Strictly Come Dancing show? I imagine you've got the moves. 
<laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I'm looking at not like interested. Colin. Brad, you're not interested. Why not? Um, I think it's difficult for actors because you, you, you. I think it's great if you're a presenter of something and you get your personality out there. If you're an actor, I just don't. I think it's then if you then go on to do more projects. I think it's hard for an audience to suspend their disbelief. You're right. Absolutely, it is they feel they know you and you've revealed and maybe made a you know bit of a yeah. fool of yourself. I'm not yeah. keen on the idea, but oh. I still think it's a good show. Yeah, and. Uh, any interest? Um, I just can't dance, so uh, that's probably as good a reason. <laughs> well, yeah. It hasn't stopped most of the people on it. <laughs> you know, it's that, and we need fodder to go out in the first few weeks. <laughs> you can make a deal, so I'll do it, providing I'm voted out by week three. <laughs> uh, how long does uh, how long does an average episode take to shoot? Because you're right, they are kind of cinematic. They're kind of filmic in the way they look, and also they're fairly long. So is it a, a couple of weeks per episode? What is it? You're talking about two and a half weeks uh, per episode, but um, it normally takes a bit longer. That's the official mm. sort of time, but uh, we always end up running over. And fairly solid work when you're out there as well, or do you have plenty of downtime? Uh, There's no downtime. No, none at all. There's no downtime. Yeah. But it's, it's good like that because myself and, and Colin constantly find ourselves in sort of 12-hour days. But it's it's you get in the rhythm, and I think if you just stop, you just your body will go oh, shut down. Yeah, yeah, so you know you're going to have those long days. And what do you do in between takes? Uh, are there games you play, or well, how do you keep yourself occupied? Uh, it depends on what, what you're doing. If it's something that's kind of, you know, there's been some high emotional kind of dark stuff in, in this series and it, in between takes you tend to not want to socialise too much. You, you don't want to go and yeah. play ping pong. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah. Ping pong is all the table tennis that goes on. <laughs> Do you not have a, you should get, they should give you the uh, the Xbox or the PS3 there. You could play the Beatles rock band on it. Or you could get a, a Wii on board. Well, well I, next year I'm actually yeah. going to get the... Um, a TV on set because the World Cup is going to be going on. Well, I admire your confidence. That you're coming back for third series. That's a good thing. <laughs> I know. I'm not saying I've heard anything, but it's good. No, plan ahead like that. That's yeah, absolutely the that. only way to do it. That's the spirit. Yeah. That's the spirit. <laughs> Next year, and then let's face it, season 12, he wants his own car to pick him up and drive him to the. By then, of course. Yeah, TV is not that much water, surely. <laughs> uh, no, you're right to want a TV. Oh, let's. Come on. <laughs> come on, Beeb. Get him a TV, get will you? TV for the World Cup. He's working 12 hour days dressed yeah. as a prince. <laughs> uh, are the costumes comfy or are they a little bit uh, chafy? <laughs> I, uh, I, they're not comfortable at all. This year I've had to wear chaps. Oh, oh no dear. TV and chaps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure why they turned up in the medieval. Mm. I'm amazed you can so. keep going. I know, I know. It's a struggle. <laughs> but you're more road-based, your outfits, aren't they? They're well, more swishy. I've, uh, I've, 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 uh, any fans of the of the of the Merlin outfit in the first series are pleased to see that my scarf is back. Oh, as the is, scarf um, is back. Good. As is, as is all my costumes. Uh, Vivian Westwood. Yeah. No, you got Vivian Westwood boots. Yeah, man. I knew she was old. <laughs> <laughs> but with the same size. So I think she knows she was half through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, guys. What do you like to listen to? I guess you like the bang bang rap music, the hip, the hippity hop, the go go. What do you like? The uh, go go. What do you like listen to? Uh, I'm the, a lot the gangsta the... rap. <laughs> 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 what, what, what do you listen to when you're not oh, wearing nice. chaps? The gangster rap or yeah. Well, you don't play the gangster rap. No, here. we don't play enough gangster rap here no. on Radio Two. But no. you were pleased to know uh, Chris Evans has promised that when he takes her from Wogan, he's going to start every morning with a little bit of East Coast West Coast. <laughs> uh, fellas, what do you like though? What do you listen?